So how is the horse holding up and how are you holding Good. up? Good, yeah, he seems fine. We're both pretty relaxed at this point. Um, you know, I hope he, he gets to run his race tomorrow. He seems to be in great form. He gives me every indication that he should. So. There's been some talk that this is almost like the derby all over again with, with eight horses coming yeah, back. Yeah, why did they really pick this year to come back, right? <laughs> um, you know, look, I think, I, I think it's as close... Without a triple crown contender, this is the next best thing. To have seven horses come back from the derby, to have the winner of the Preakness in the derby. I mean, what more could you want, you know? Um, everybody wants to see a triple crown winner, nobody more than me. But ultimately, this is a test of champions, and I think this is really going to be that test. You know, nobody can knock this race with seven horses coming back from the derby and the Preakness winner and the derby winner. Do you think it says something as to the, perhaps a little bit of a turnaround, um, rather than having a horse run in the derby and then disappear? that you have horses coming back, maybe you've got a big field in the Derby, big field in the Preakness, big field in the, in the Belmont, but these horses are pretty tough. You know, I think you, you can make a case for that. I mean, everybody wants to say the horses are not as tough as they used to be. I'm not sure that's a fact. I think it's become harder to win the Triple Crown because everybody wants to run in these races, you know. Um, there's so much prestige personally and, and professionally for the horses to win these races. So I, I think that's ultimately what's made it so much harder to win these things, you know. Uh, and I think it's a testament to the owners of, of Shackleford and, and our horse that, that we want to come back, you know. None of us have to be here, but we, we want to be here, so.